what to do with this beast of a curbside piece. <laughs> it's massive. Um, here's the thing. I have an idea of something I could do to this that would kind of tweak it just to make it my own, and that would be really cool. However, I've never tried it before, so what do I need to do? I need to do a test. Hey, I'm Marjorie with the Asking Spot. And the best way to run a test, if you aren't certain, like something that's a big grand piece like this, yes, inconspicuous spot, that would be great. But the problem is the only real inconspicuous spot doesn't have the same finish as the rest of the piece. So I just went to my local Goodwill and picked up this for two bucks. It's made of basically the same materials. It's a ceramic that's glazed and I can practice my technique on that to see if it works and if I like it before I try it out on this. So here it goes. Okay, interesting. Ew! Ooh. Clean it. Yay, this piece was actually in pretty good shape, just some minor chips. However, to adhere what I want to do to it next, I'm gonna give it a bit of a spray paint. Yeah, yeah, you gotta move out of the way. You too, Hazel. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Hazel. This is gonna happen. For a change, I actually look back at uh, different things I've decoupaged in the past and consistently I have told myself, remember to work in smaller, more manageable pieces. So I'm gonna get it right this time. See, I can learn. Well, that's the first time for everything. Well, my test piece turned out pretty cute. I'm actually really, really mad love for this. I like how it looks and uh, yeah. Now it's time to try and upscale it. Uh, here's the thing though. This one I just sprayed white and then put some tissue paper on it. The other one I wanna try and give it some depth. That wasn't the plan. And um, my plan is, is I'm gonna start with some dark spray paint then go to red and then leave it its natural cream so the what about the test it should work we'll see And meanwhile, whoa, okay, that kind of looks cool. Oh, but wait, all right. Um, it may need another coat. 
four, 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 four. <laughs> Meanwhile. Day. Spots were missed. <laughs> okay, so I missed some pretty big spots here, but the good news is I just have to apply more decoupage. It's pretty easy to fix. Now what? Because I want to be able to get the edge of this done without creating updrifts or whatever you'd call no it. No puddles. I'm going to put it on top of a bowl. I want to make sure it's balanced. There we go. Now I can paint down here and not worry. Let's get clearance. If you could please click a thumbs up and the subscribe button that really helps out the channel. And um, if you uh, really want to help a super thanks would be greatly appreciated as well. The takeaways from doing this, uh, the triple thick glaze. It is a very cool product. However, just like any top coat, you can't just slop on a bunch of it and try to get through it too fast. Yeah, she did. She did. Um, yeah, I haven't learned that lesson yet, and I'm glad I did my test piece because I did try to put a lot on. I will say, on the positive side, it did dry. It's not like when you put too much of any other type of top coat, usually you get that sticky forever feeling. This one dried, but it dried kind of in a puddle and a little bit cloudy, so it's not a good look. You have to do thin layers, multiple layers, and then you'll get the look you want. But honestly, I think maybe three or four should be anything. Otherwise, this worked. I liked it. I'm looking at dishes anywhere and everywhere thinking, hmm, I could do this one in, you know, this holiday decor tissue and maybe make it something that's just out for the holiday. You know, there's options with this. I hope you give it a shot and thanks so much for watching The Asking Spot. Considering I have done a test run, this should go smoothly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I'm still apprehensive just because I'm trying it slightly different than the other ones. So, we don't know, and it's so big, but I think this can handle <laughs> mineral spirits and uh, denatured alcohol. So. If it can handle the solvents I can put on it after, if I screw up, I guess I'm okay. Forever, if you put too many on, um, it just instead it will pool weirdly. Thanks, Doug. I know how that jingle's gonna go through this whole thing. <laughs>